Hey, welcome. All right, so Simon from Chameleon Mode, very quick video. Someone wanted me to just walk you through how to create a quick Gmail account. So here we have, you can see a profile I've just spun up. I just created, added a new proxy. It's important to have good, clean proxies. I'll have a link below to my recommended and preferred proxy provider. We're going to be integrating them as well into the app so that you can use them a lot more efficiently. And I'll talk more about that in another video if you like, but the link will be below the video in any, in any event. So um, one of the fail safes that we have here is we make sure not to sign in to Google or to Gmail using the built-in browsers. And we use that for productivity. Um, we'd like to make sure whenever you're signing into any main account, you're gonna be using all of the familiar um, things that Google like to see, that Facebook like to see. So what will happen is you'll automatically get this pop-up which will open up a window for Google and it will then tell you to either sign, <clears throat> excuse me, sign into Google or if you don't have an account, you could go ahead and create an account. So we're gonna do that right now very quickly. No, thank you. Uh, this one, <clears throat> this one we're going to call uh, Jamie. Uh, Jamie. Uh, Jamie, whatever. Jamie. And then uh, let's say, I don't know, we're just making it up. Denver. Jamie Denver. That's a cool name. Jamie Denver. And we're going to go with whatever we'll say, June 8th, 1988, and uh, female, next. Okay, we'll just go with one of the things they're offering. And we're just gonna make something up. Uh, Phone number. Let's just use the built in service here we have. You have to connect your API. Operator one for the US and get number. Here's the number. Copy that. Before we go, we're just going to get that to send that already. Add <clears throat> the number. And the number should appear down here in just a moment. It, it will turn up. If not, this will be probably one of the first times it doesn't. But it, it could take up to a minute. So um, I guess while we're waiting here, we can go ahead and just... Oh, okay, we could get a new code in 10 seconds, but let's see what happens. Let's wait. Sod's law, <clears throat> it's not going to come. Okay, we'll get a new code, see if that helps. Use the same number. Could be it doesn't like this number. It does happen occasionally, it doesn't like the number. Okay, so Sod's Law, we're having an issue on the verification here. Haven't given up yet. Let's just wait another moment, see what happens. 
if that changes, what I'll do is I'm going to just release that number and we'll get a new one and see if that helps. Get code, add that, get that going already, get new code, change the number, and let's hope for the best. Oh, see, there's an issue right now with some of these numbers. Okay, so listen. So sometimes this does happen. This is an account creation. So what we're going to do is we're going to release this number and we're just going to go for a UK number. And sometimes that helps, makes a difference. Okay, get code. There's the code. Okay, so it's sometimes it does happen. It's not. There's not much you could do. You know, if you've if you've got your own SIM cards, you know, you're you're not going to have this is issue ever. But this is a great little backup. If you don't have access to, you know, SIM cards as such, if you want to just do a quick, a quick. Um, Reverification, it's perfect for that. It's always going to be a little bit iffy. And what it's doing now, right? So what we've done is, is we've now created an account. It's now opening up all of the uh, relevant Google pages, workspace, photos, downloading the cookies and the cache and everything. And what will this then do? This will then sync back into Chameleon. Now, a known issue that we have, uh, we'll call it an issue, sort of a bug, is that sometimes there is a cookie mismatch and that's going to be fixed in one of the next updates. We know exactly how to stop that so that stops happening, but it doesn't affect the uh, um, accounts ever. You don't, you're not going to have any issue with your accounts. It's just a simple cookie mismatch issue that happens now and again and might just happen right now. So, you know, so we could go through all of that. So right now I'm going to release this number. Okay, and what, what it's doing right there is, is it's waiting for all of these pages to load fully so that the cookies are going to be downloaded into Chameleon so that you can then access um, all of these properties. And not just access all of these properties, just um, you know, show Google that you know, you've got all of these cookies, you, you're using these properties, for example. So there you go, it's just loaded the last one. And it will close in 5, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there you go, now you have yourself a brand new Gmail account. Again, now if you're gonna go ahead and sign up to a Facebook account or right now with a, with, with a brand new email, you're gonna have an issue because they can tell brand new email accounts. Best thing is if you're, if you're gonna to wanna to have a VA, just create these and season them over time. You know, that's the best thing. Otherwise, purchase um, aged Gmail accounts and then go ahead and sign up to the social networks with those. Um, but yeah, there is sometimes issues with Facebook and verifications with brand new accounts. So that's what it is if you come across that, where you get an immediate block from Facebook. It's got nothing to do with anything other than the fact that they've just sensed that you've got a brand new email account and they're going to want a little bit more verification from you. So best thing to do is season it, get out there, sign up to a couple of email accounts, email lists, email um, in your niche, whatever it is, sign up to a couple of blogs, go comment, engage. Um, leave some reviews, all that sort of stuff, and then go ahead and sign up with Facebook and social media accounts. That's definitely the best way to go about doing this. Okay, now if we just open up Brave, we're just going to go ahead and see. You'll see that we'll be logged into Brave, and there is a chance that we'll get that cookie mismatch issue, and that's why I want to see if it does happen, just to show you that it doesn't affect anything. Okay, so it hasn't happened here. Uh, in any event, if it does happen, it's very intermittent when it does happen and it doesn't affect the um, security of the account. It doesn't affect the um, um, authenticity of the account. Of the account. It's, a, it's, a, it's a very straightforward thing that could happen on, in many different occasions. So it just sort of resets one of the browsers and then you have the ability to sign right back in because the cache is already there. 
Okay, so there you have it. And uh, let me know if you've got any questions below in the comments.